Hi guys, welcome to Delicious Sparkly Cakes. I don't know about you, but I have lots of friends who really love dogs. And uh, I'm sure you have some too. Or oh, actually, that you are the one who loves dogs. And that's why I have to make a really nice and cute uh, dog cake, which is not only uh, really pretty from the outside, but it is actually really, really delicious as a filter. And I covered it with some delicious uh, chocolate buttercream. In fact, if I think about it, I already would like a piece of it, but actually I can't because first of all, I want to show you how you can make it as well. First of all, I'm starting making all the cake decorations and I'm starting making the dog's colors. And to make the color, I'm using a teal color, which I really love as it goes really well in contrast with the chocolate cake that I'm preparing. But obviously you can change it to any color that you love. So first of all, I made a very long sausage, then I'm gonna flatten with the rolling pin, and then I'm gonna cut straight using a very long ruler. Then with a dainty tool, I'm adding a stitching effect onto the collar, on top and at the bottom as well. And then I've decided to add a really nice and cute little medal, which I've given it a heart shape. At this point, I thought it was quite nice as well to add the initial of the dog name. And because I didn't think of any uh, really nice name, I thought to add Del, which stands for Delicious, as it is the name of my channel. Then I've added a hole at the top of the heart so that it will be easier to add a string afterwards and uh, put it on the collar. As you can see, I've already prepared the cake and it's covered with delicious chocolate buttercream. And at the bottom, all around it, I'm going to add the dog's collar. And then I've added as well the little medal. And then I've painted it with some edible gold painting, which I really love as it does make the metal look a little bit more luxury and a little bit more shining. Now let's start to make the dog's mouth and to do so I've used some flesh fondant modeling paste. At the top then I'm going to press it even further because this is where I'm going to put the nose. And to make the nose, I'm going to use some black modeling paste, which has a kind of triangle shape. Once we're happy with the nose shape, we can add it onto the hole that we just done. Using a leaf shaper, we're going to draw now the mouth. Starting from the middle of the nose, then we're going to draw an arch, one going on the right and another one going on the left. Then we want to open the mouth, so we're going to cut the top of it using a craft knife. And then with the leaf shaper we want to open the mouth a little bit more to make the bottom lip. Now we need to get some extra room on the dog's mouth because the, the dog is going to hold a bone. And that's why in the middle of the mouth I'm using a handle brush. To make the bone, we're going to use some white modeling paste. And we want to make, first of all, a cylinder by leaving the sides a little bit bigger. Press a little bit and then make a line on each side. and rolling a little bit more with your fingers. But just before adding our bone to the mouth, we need to make the dog's tongue, which is going to be made using some red modeling paste. And now we can add the little and cute bone, which I think is already 
it's going to look really really cute so the little and cute mouth has been done now so we can put it on top of the cake to stick the mouth to the cake you only need to make a little pressure as the cake is already humid now we're going to make the cute little dog eyes using two ovals of white modeling paste to make the irises we're going to use two blue ovals and then we're gonna flop them using our fingers and then to make the pupils we're going to add two more ovals which this time are going to be black and finally we need to add some more white um, small ball of uh, white paste to give that extra sparks on the dog's eyes I normally like to put at least two one at the top left corner and then one at the bottom right corner and do the opposite on the left eye and then if you want you can add another really really tiny small ball so now let's put the eyes above the mouth onto the cake at this point I thought that it could have been really nice to add some eyebrows as well so I've added two strings of black fondant most of the dogs have also two different colors of hair so I've decided to add some black patches all over the cake as well Then I've added some uh, buttercream swirl on top of the cake which I think it looked really really nice as it seems like it's having more hair and it's kind of the same thing that I did on the cut um, cake that I previously uploaded on YouTube and I've added some more buttercream at the front as well um, as I thought it looked a bit nicer, even nicer to do that. Now what we have left to do are the ears and uh, to make the ears I've used a um, big drop of brown uh, modeling paste and then in the middle I've added some flesh fondant turning the ear on the way back I've added some black patches uh, on there as well. And to add the ears onto the cake, I've added a small cocktail stick and then I've inserted the ear. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if so don't forget to thumbs up as I make one video every 7-10 days and uh, I'm already thinking of the next one and actually I already started working on it. Meanwhile you can watch these two videos and uh, I'll see you soon, bye bye!